Hey everybody, it's Evan here with another Moodle Moment, and we're joining you on uh, Black Friday, or pre-Black Friday. I'm sitting outside the Jordan Creek Mall, playing chauffeur tonight. Thought I'd do a Moodle Moment while I uh, had the time. Uh, I'm going to talk to you uh, off the screen, or off the computer uh, desktop tonight, and I want to talk about a mental model that you might be interested in using or thinking about when talking about building your own courses and this works for your whether you're building courses for adult learners or student learners and such um, we've uh, we've had some recent conferences and we've talked about some of the curriculum that we offer and one of the things that's come up is when looking at what we call OER which is open educational resource curriculum this is curriculum that has been created by people across the country and is generally free um, that you can use um, locally and, and we do connect to OER content and put it in. Um, some of those content providers are very famous like Khan Academy is one. We've got a whole um, group of those on our dashboard within our servers that, that we help support. Uh, OER content can be kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes it's um, uh, what people would say is good stuff, sometimes it's not so good stuff. And what I want to talk about today is try to help kind of rethink that idea a little bit. Sometimes OER content is built in a way where it intends to be the full course. And that's not really what OER content should be. OER content really should be kind of a collection of what are called learning objects. If you haven't heard the term learning objects before, learning objects can be any, any anything really. It's basically something that's a module, so it breaks it down into the individual pieces. It's kind of like Legos in a big Lego house or atoms in a big molecule or whatever. It's these individual building blocks that you use to create a course. So things like a lesson or a quiz or an assignment or a wiki or any little pieces that you put together in your course, uh, those are all learning objects. And a lot of these sites, OER sites, essentially are learning object repositories. Um, even though they're taking learning objects and they're making a course out of them, it's the individual learning objects themselves that kind of makes a value. Here's what I want to talk to you about. The, the, a learning object is really nice when used modularly and a teacher can go and wrap around it. The mental model we use is necklaces. One of the things that a lot of schools do is they really try and, uh, for one of two different models and they get frustrated by it very easily. One of the necklaces that they go out when it comes to online courses is we'll call it the gold necklace. Gold necklace is pre-bought. It's all together, all intertwined, everything is connected. You can't really go in and, and adjust it or modify it. It's all structured together. It might be something like um, Edgenuity or Play-Doh, those type of products. It's you know you take it as is, and um, and you pay a lot of money for it. It's you know it's it's going to be it's going to be expensive. Um, one of the things about that is that you know just because it's gold, it's kind of that phrase, all that glitters is not gold. Just because it's gold doesn't necessarily mean it's of quality and you have to take a look at it to make sure but it certainly comes at a price because of all the time and effort they do putting it all together okay so the gold necklace is something like some of those online courses on the other end of the spectrum you have the macrame necklace uh, I take you back to your camp days where you were creating a necklace out of string uh, it's a lot of time to create a macrame necklace I started one once and got about three inches in and realized I'm never gonna finish this so a macrame necklace actually is really high quality you're going and you're creating it and it's it's really nice quality the problem with it is it takes forever to do and a lot of people don't get finished with them they start like I did and get about halfway through and then that's it neither one of which is what we recommend. We recommend a third type. It's in the middle, but the model type helped give you an idea of how it works. It's the beaded necklace. A beaded necklace works because you take beads that are already pre-made. And those beads can be really nice. Um, and Again, those are the learning objects. You go and you can find a lesson on this, a simulation on this, an interactive on this, uh, an assessment on this. And you can actually find them from a variety of different places. Um, it doesn't have to be all from one place like Khan Academy. You could just take one thing there and take some other things here. 
some of the beads might not be the greatest, um, and you don't have to use those because there are a lot of beads out there. Where you as an instructor come in is the thread in the middle. You're the one pulling those together all on a common thread. That includes common outcomes. It includes connecting it with your students. It includes that connective tissue, that transitional text that goes from one of those beads to the next. So you say, hey, we just looked at this in our simulation. Now here's how we're going to do this in our assignment. All of that is what's important. When people have problems with OER courses or courses from outside providers like NROC or other places, the thing that they're forgetting is those are not intended to be courses with the thread in the middle. They're really intended to be collections of beads and you need to provide that thread. And when you do that, you can take that and make it into not only a really good course, but also a course that applies really well to your students. So that's a, a mental model we've used for several years here at AEA PD Online uh, and it helps our um, teachers understand ways in which you can go and um, uh, design a course looking for those. Uh, if you have more questions about how to find learning objects, um, be sure to contact one of our instructional designers. Also, our OLLI instructional design course talks about that quite a bit. And we've got our dashboard of learning objects in the help section on our K-12 Moodle server. Uh, so until next time, uh, have a happy Black Friday, and we'll talk to you later.